We are getting ready for Soma Virtual Tai Chi class. And joining with video. One moment, please. Recording in progress. Okay. Let's see here. class will be also on YouTube. Remember, if anything hurts, stop immediately. All right? We're going to be doing a bit of things on details. And when one person is talking, perhaps you should be doing a little exercise like Teacher Odie is doing right now. All right? SOMA School of Healing Martial Arts is web. The internet is www.soma.org. That's the website. And the Long Beach number is 562-420-2112. And the Lakewood facility is at 562-408-1140. And so if you have an achy or ouchy, you should check out SOMA as some say an alternative and some may say a main way of improving your health. All right, we're patients here. <laughs> All right. So, what are we doing today, Mr. Hall? Okay, I suggest that we start off with a few brief uh, uh, breathing exercises. Breathing exercises. Yeah. Okay. Very warm day, so we're not going to have an extended class, mm -hmm. uh, but just enough to give you some idea of what it is we do on a normal basis. Let's start off with this. Uh, Curl? Oh, what? Oh, the curl. The, oh, curl. the curl. I was just doing that, so oh, okay. start off with the curl. Somebody called it a cobra. Okay. Oh. Take out your chin. Push up with your legs. Try to get your breathing into a pattern that suits this movement. In. Out. In. Now we're going to reach down as far as we can. And if you can't touch your toes, just go down to your knees and then we can modify it. For those who can go all the way down, touch your toes. Try not to bend your knees. Mm -hmm. And as you come up, bend your knees. And pull up like that. We're doing it slowly. Yes. With no malice of forethought. Now, let us curl our necks around to the left, to the, left to the right, to the left, to the right, five times, four, five. All right, the other way. One, two, three, four. Now, we want to rotate our shoulders to the back. 43 and a half times. You know he has a counting problem. <laughs> Math problem. Math problem. Okay. What did I say? 43 and a half? 43 and a half. Oh, sorry. 43. Yeah. One, two, three. Now, four. 45 and a half times. 
I'm sorry, not half time. One, two, three, four, five. It's quick counting, quick counting. You'll get used to it. Okay. Okay. I would like to say, let's just swing on. All right. Way to twist. As you twist your waist, you want to try to hit your kidneys. Because as a person with an uh, implanted hip, it allows me to feel this hip uh -huh. go around and around. Okay. Ah, uh, yes. So, I feel it. I'm feeling you, as they say. So those that are up in years, if you have a, what's it called, a hitch in your, in your hitch giddy-up, giddy up. Giddy you should check out your doctor and see about a hip replacement. Might be in order. It might be in order. Yeah. I guarantee you they won't replace it unless you need to have it done. Yes. And then you won't have you don't bone. Don't want to waste any hips. This is true. You don't want to have bone wrapping on bone. Yeah, I remember that mm. crunch. I remember. We would do things like this. Right. And all I could hear was Right. So if you're hearing that noise, you should check with your doctor so that if you're able and up and about, you should be getting it done now. Okay, let's end this with a little knee. Put your knees Rotation. together. Put on your hands on both sides and then go down as far as comfortable in rotating your knees. This exercise helps to help oh. <laughs> help if you uh, with your balance and if your leg happens to go a certain way the muscle has already got used to being flexed that's the word flexed mm -hmm. okay i would like to suggest in order to prepare us for the brief class we're going to have first pause hydration hydration yes Take a little one, you take the big one. I'll accept that. Okay, and a little bit to those. The ancestors are thirsty too. Yes. Ah. Oh boy, it's agua. Good. Agua. Good stuff. Get his agua. Mm -hmm. Get used to it. Mm. Stay hydrated. If you're having headaches, maybe you're not drinking enough water. Okay, I'd like to start us off with <coughs> walking meditation in order to calm everybody down to uh, go into the movements that we're going to uh, get into today. Uh, you call them uh, details. Yes, we're going to get into some details today. Some details. I'm looking forward to that. So, uh -huh. if you don't mind. You want to explain walking meditation? Walking meditation from this point to that point. Can you explain it so oh, people who have Yes, yes. Yes. Uh, walking meditation, which I was taught by Master Thich Thien Long at the Buddhist temple on 10th and Orange. That's not an advertisement, that's a fact. <laughs> and uh, what he said to me one day was, you know, let's walk. And they simply started off by shifting his weight, 75% of his weight to his right leg, lifting his left leg very slowly, and taking a tiny step forward. Heel first, and then as your heel touches, allow, as he said, allow your whole foot to kiss the earth. And you do it with a certain sense of solemnity and sacredness, if you want to get into that as you lift up your rear foot and move forward, come down with your heel, you exhale. The trailing foot inhales, hold it briefly, 
come down. Exhale. If you find yourself being, coming a little bit off balance, don't worry about it. Pause. And then continue. It's, it doesn't require a great deal of athleticism, but what it does is stimulate the desire to be balanced. Right. And what I like when you have your family or your friends, you can all do walking meditation side by side. And whoever comes in last is the winner. So whoever has the best balance, so you're leaving the past, you're stepping into the present, and you're preparing to go into the future. Hmm. That's Heel a surrealistic to examination. Heel to toe. Wow. Yes. OK. Which way do you want to go? Spray the Um, Yes. Yeah, We're going to go in an oblique fashion. Yes. OK, remember, as you lift your foot, <laughs> as you lift your foot, inhale, as you lower your foot, your heel first to the ground, you exhale. Very simple. You can hold your hand aside or you can hold behind. Let us begin. Inhale. Exhale. Inhale. Exhale. You're on your own now because you know what to do. Remember this. Yes, the Tai Chi fan fell down. And so don't be like the Tai Chi sign thing. Don't let something stop you from doing what you need to do. Don't let circumstances beyond your control, whether it's wind, rain, or whatever, stop you from doing what you need to do. OK. So with that, I won. you did win. I did. Okay, next time, next time, next Sunday at 2, we're on. We'll see. We'll, we'll see, see we'll about see. that, we'll okay? See. okay? You'll see. Yeah, right. yeah. Okay. <laughs> so, a little of Tai Chi walking again. Uh, we're going to do it one, two, three, four, and one, two, three. I'm emphasizing Tai Chi walking because it's part of the details. Yes. Okay? And if you don't have the feet working out like they're supposed to do, then it's hard for the body to do what it needs to do. Like, if you were doing capoeira, what would you do? The jinga. The jinga. See? That's the jinga. Uh-oh. <laughs> Gotta watch out for him. <laughs> so, you have to have 
the right foot pattern. If you're boxing, you have a certain foot pattern. There you go. If you're athlete, box foot, boxing. So, you know, various martial arts. With Tai Chi, it is a martial art. And it is also a meditative exercise. So you have to have your balance and you have to have your feet doing what they're supposed to do. So I'll come to you, you come to me. We're going to do one, two, three, four for the first steps. Then one, two, three. All right. So four, one, two, three, four. So stepping out, heel to toe. One, shift back. Two, turn the foot. Three, step up. Four, step out. One, shift back. Two, turn the foot. Three, four. Step out, one, shift back all the parts, two, turn the foot, three, four, now step out, shift back, turn the foot, step out, turn the foot, step out, one, shift back, two, turn the foot, step out, one, shift back, turn the foot, there you go. And so, real quick, well, let me face you and show you that when you step out, you want your foot like you're on a line, okay? Sometimes your foot may try to turn farther to the left or might even turn toward the center line, but you want it to go out straight. You want to shift back, bring your foot up at the same time, turn your foot. If you need to pause for your balance, you do it. You want to take the side of the fan and just release it. Get back with your wrist. You want to release, to the back with your wrist. Release, to the back with your wrist. If the fan doesn't go all the way down, then you're using the wrong side of the fan and you'll have to flip it. But otherwise, it should go all the way down and a lot of wrist action. Once you get used to doing this, and you have to know that your fan has one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven spikes, spokes. Okay. Then you'll want to put the fan in the palm of your hand, your thumb here, your fingers wrapped around it, and you can go open. You also want to be able to do it to the side. Let go. Turn the wrist. Flip the wrist. Flip. And flip back. Flip. And so practice moving the fan in different directions when it's not so windy. It's easier. Now if you're left-handed, you might say, how can I do the fan left-handed? Well, instead of your fingers behind, more action needs to be done with your thumb. So what you will be doing is again releasing. Oops, oh, sorry. Okay. Releasing and bring back. Oh, you're Bring back. 
it's, it, this will take more practice. But if you're right-handed, you won't have to worry about it unless you want to do two-hand form with the, with the fan, okay? And of course, it's a little more difficult when the wind is blowing. But again, you want your thumb to be releasing and closing as your fingers were doing with the right hand. And again, it will go in the center and release flip of the wrist, okay? So I'm used to doing it with my right, so of course it's much easier to do with the right. But if you're left-handed, don't give up. You can't do Tai Chi fan. Can I make a suggestion since we haven't done <clears throat> the fan in a bit? Uh, I feel I've been practicing a little bit. I'd like to do the first five movements. Okay. The first five. Well, let's call it, okay, we'll, we'll do the first one. Okay. Uh, section one. All right. So here we go. We're going to be going. Okay. Hold your fan like this. coming back from Thailand or China, maybe they can get you a 12-spoke, I mean 11-spoke fan. But not a lot of fork on the outside. Don't want to. So that's, we'll continue the Tai Chi fan next week. And shout out to Mato, who is 
helping Dr. Hoover and Steve Johnson at Hartwell Park doing the cage. Thank you, Mike. Okay. All right. More water? Yes, yes more water. Oh, we want to go into a little more detail. My concern as an instructor is watching people kick. When they do the kicking, you have to remember if you're kicking with your right leg, your right arm is in front of your left. Like this. Okay? And so when you're kicking with your right, your right hand goes out as your right leg comes up. If you're kicking with your left, you come up and out. You needn't kick as high as Teacher Zola is doing in the very beginning. You might want to just simply kick that far. But try to establish a rhythm that far. Okay, fine. But I will show you for those who have balance issues. This is an exercise you can do all week. Okay, do it for a week. One day each week, do it ten times on each leg. Put your hands on your thighs. When you come up, cross your hand. And you're just going to step out with your right leg. Come back and down. We want to kick with our left. Left hand is left arm is on the outside, so you come up with that cross and kick. It can be a toe kick or a heel tick kick. Mm -hmm. Can you explain the difference between the okay. toe kick? This is your toe. Mm -hmm. This is your heel. <laughs> this is true. So it's either a toe kick or a heel kick. But make it definite. It's not a it's not a flick. Yeah, it's flat. So it's not a flick. It's a kick. It's a real kick with your legs being straight. So in, in, in some martial arts, they make distinction between, first of all, you don't kick with your toe. You kick with your foot, with the, what do you call it, the ball of your foot. Mm -hmm. If you kick with your toe, obviously you would hurt your toe. So we say kick with the toe, but really, you should be kicking with ball. the ball of your foot. Yes, so you and then the heel, that's more pronounced, so you don't have a problem with heel. Especially with the 24, you'll be doing heel kicks. So again, during the week, 10 times each leg, sit on the very edge of your chair. Do not fall on the edge of your chair. OK, can I make a suggestion further? Can I get your chair back? Yes, you can stand behind your chair. Ah, okay, will you stand up? Mm -hmm. You can stand behind your chair, lift up your leg, and kick. That's a and, good exercise. And kick. This is after you've been banned from sitting. Mm -hmm. Okay, why don't you sit and then go back behind the chair. Okay. To show how much easier it is. Hands on thighs, kicking with the right leg. Arms crossed, kick out with the right. Come back down. Kicking with the left. Arms cross, kick, heel kick with left. And it's 45 degrees. You want to think about 45 degrees. You don't want to kick in front. Try to open up your thighs and kick right and left. And as Tishori suggested, if you have a firm chair and you've got your balance together, it's bring the knee up, extend the leg. slowly the way she's doing it until you gain real control of your of your and then at, at some other point in time you might want to just simply take a dance step out of it. One, two, one, two, one, two. Do it ten times you'll feel something. Very good, very good. He's only done this for We only got five minutes. Okay, one other thing that we like to stress is that you're supposed to have a ball. So you want to do it round. And so 
we're uh, having this class in the neighborhood, and so stay focused on what you're doing, and um, enjoy what's going on around you, right? But also remember, ball, right? This is the ball. You want to keep your arms round. You do not want to have a straight heart. Well, you know what I noticed when you do that? If your arm is straight out, it would come like this. Yeah. But when you curl your arm yes. around it in this ball, it becomes... Tai Chi ball. Tai Chi ball. Right. And your hands are Tai Chi hands. Nice and relaxed. Okay? So, and that is 90 degrees, folks. 90 degrees today, 2 o'clock. And as elders, we know it's good to be outside. But when it's this hot and the sun is this hot and there's no shade, it's better. Don't to try to prove anything. Hydrate, get back inside into the shade, right. and look forward to next Sunday. Can I have ball? You can have the ball. <laughs> Play ball. <laughs> I'm not good at catching balls. <laughs> next Sunday. Next Sunday. <laughs> oh, real quick, Dr. Daniel Hoover. Veronica over have they have uh, YouTube videos uh -huh. like we do too. <laughs> and <laughs> El so that was quick. That was like what are you doing? Now you rolled it to me. <laughs> He's the trickster. Okay, that's okay. the video. All right. Thank you so much for joining us. Usually the class is an hour, but like I said, it's two o'clock, it's hot. Our neighbors are Don't getting ready us. to get ready to enjoy themselves, and so we've had this moment in time. I hope you have some more moments in time, and see you next week. Okay. Ciao. Thank <laughs> you.